Hi, this is Shadi and today I have a very interesting story to share with you and it is about the term boxer or the boxer of Quirinal. So it is a statue that has been recently moved back to New York from Roman uh, museums. This is actually from a column by The Guardian. So a little bit of historical context. This is a bronze statue from the Hellenistic era from around 330 BC. It was first discovered in 1885 at the Baths of Constantine and preserved in the Museums of Rome. So it was recently moved back to New York and you can see he has scars, cauliflower ears, a bruised torso and he has the castus in his hands uh, symbolizing that he is a boxer. Uh, I'm sure they wrestled and used the castus so not just you know like today you have all these different disciplines so I'm pretty sure he wrestled as well but what is interesting about the story is not the fact that he has cauliflower ears but actually if you take art in the Hellenistic era and the historical context it had a very profound concept and message behind it it wasn't just art for art's sake so in college when I was studying uh, history of art it actually went uh, in sequences. It first started in Mesopotamia, then to ancient Egypt, Greece, and then finally uh, Rome. This is ancient history. So uh, if you remember the ancient Egyptian statue, you would see them standing upright almost in an abstract manner. And then they moved to Greece. They started imitating them for a bit. And then they started tilting the axis uh, of the hips and eventually came to the quote unquote nude masculine and the boxer of Quirinal here is a great example of masculine nudity in Hellenistic art so the concept uh, of this art is actually um, the male was always looking youthful strong and perfection symbolizes perfection and the fact that they added uh, the bruises and the broken nose and even uh, the column states that it has probably uh, broken teeth and cauliflower ears and all that stuff. It symbolizes that uh, they are signs of pride and strength. So now we look at cauliflower ears, you know, we look to drain them and have uh, plastic surgery for the scars. However, they took them as signs of pride. So uh, you see these people today like wanting cauliflower ears, etc. Uh, as a like a badge of honor. So apparently it was uh, a sign of perfection for these elite fighters and if you go a little further in history of art the roman statue were actually faces of old emperors to signify maturity and also a, a little dose of reality because uh, even philosophical schools of the roman are different from uh, the greeks the greeks you know they were talking about democracy uh, a utopian society etc however the Romans were very cynical, they were stoic, they they had ambitions but also they were very much uh, realistic. That's why the statues were almost, you know, showed old men, they didn't show young, perfect, muscular men like the statues of the heads of the emperor. So I think it's a very interesting uh, idea that, that not only cauliflower ears were documented from thousands and thousands of years but also the fact that they were badges of honor and also they were a sign of pride and um, components of male perfection strength the ability to fight uh, the ability to hold scars and bruises and also cauliflower ears so i think this is a very uh, small and interesting topic uh, to share with you uh, let me know down below what you think this was Shadi and thank you for listening.